Hey everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to hack your Wii U so you can cheat in Breath of the Wild. To do that, we need a few things. You need a Wii U, of course, you need the game, you need a computer, you need internet, Wi-Fi, an SD card, SD card reader, you need some software, and I have all the download links on my website. I will give you a link to this page in the description, okay? You need TCB Gecko, you need a trainer, for the game, Breath of the Wild Trainer or Breath. You need load line and homebrew launcher. And of course, patience. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is download all the stuff that we need, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and download uh, load line and homebrew launcher. I already have these other two downloaded, but you just download them all right here, okay? And then we're gonna open up your SD card. So I have that right here. Okay, now, uh, I'm not going to show everybody how to do this particular step that you need to get to where I'm at, but you do need to format your Wii U SD or your SD card for your Wii U. There will be a link in the description and on the article uh, directing you to Nintendo so you can do that, okay? Um, once you're formatted, if you aren't already, uh, all you got to do is you go into your Wii U folder, you go into apps, and then you drop in all of your stuff, okay? So you need Homebrew Launcher, Loadline, and TCP Gecko. I have these right here, um, and I've already opened them and dropped them in here, okay? You just drop the folder. Here's the inside of Homebrew, here's the inside of Loadline, and here's the inside of TCP Gecko. It should look just like this, and you have everything you need, okay? Once all that stuff's dropped in there, all we got to do is take the SD card from the computer and you slap it right inside of your Wii U, okay? And the next clip, I'm going to show you uh, with the video camera what I'm doing on the Wii U to get it started, okay? So stay tuned and I'll see you in just a sec.
Welcome back everybody. We are in the third and final phase of this tutorial. What I'm going to do now is show you how to connect your trainer to your game. All right, so we've done everything. We've got TCP Gecko all set up. We've got all these different things going on with the Wii U. And all we got to do now is you put in your Wii U IP address. It's really easy to get that. I'll drop a link in the description uh, showing you how to do that. I may make a video showing you how to do that in the future, but for now it's not necessary. So you get your Wii U IP address. And then you just hit connect and bam, look at that. I just connected this software to my Wii U. In real time, I can edit my values. I can give myself 10,000 rupees like you saw in the clip before. I'll just bam, there we go. I got 10,000 rupees. Infinite stamina. I'll give myself 20 heart fractions, which is about five hearts. Bam, there we go. You could refill your hearts, always run. I haven't tried all the features, but I do know that stamina, rupees, and health do work. Okay? There's a lot of different things you can do with your durability of your items and you can do all different kinds of things, and there's other trainers other than this one. I've provided two in the article and in the description below. Um, Breath.exe is my personal favorite because it just works with stamina and health, and those are the only things that I like to use. All right. Um, some things to keep in mind. Uh, when you're doing all this stuff on your Wii U, make sure you give your Wii U time to load on each screen. If you try and move too quickly through the screens when you're running these this injected code into it, it could cause it to crash. So for example, throughout the course of making this video, I think I injected it about 12 times trying to get the video as good as I can get it. And I didn't crash a single time because I made sure that each screen that loaded, I, I gave it a good 10 seconds on each screen just to load, let the Wii U finish its thing, and then I can go to the next thing. That way it doesn't get confused and just crash. So go nice and slow with your Wii U when you're doing this stuff and you won't have any crashes. Uh, other than that, there's, as time goes on, more and more ways to do this. So it is March 7th, 2017 right now. Um, March 7th, 2018 might bring a completely different way to do this. All right. So the, it, you got to kind of stay on top of it a little bit, or if you stay away from it for a while, like come back, you got to relearn some things or learn some new things. So, but with that, if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, if there's anything I missed in the video or I wasn't clear enough about, I apologize. Just ask me in the comments and I'll help you out or someone else in the community will help you out. And um, if you guys have any suggestions for any future videos, please let me know and I'll be happy to make them. So uh, enjoy your new knowledge and kick ass in Zelda without any effort. Have a good day, guys.